What you guys, got another product review here for you. These are the Mix Cedar Active Noise Cancelling Wireless Headphones. Now this is the E9 model and we're gonna be taking a look at them in this video. They're around about $80 uh, when you buy these and you can get them on sale, but that's pretty much uh, the price of them. I think they do go up and down in price, so that's the price I've seen them for on their website. On the side of the box you can see here we've got active noise cancelling. We've got around 30 hours of play time here. I think with um, uh, active noise cancelling enabled you get around about 24 hours, uh, what it says on their website. You've got 44 millimeter large aperture uh, drivers on here, wireless and wired uh, connectivity uh, for these headphones. Also adjustable and foldable design and it does come with a carry case. So this is what you're gonna get when you open your box. You've got a nice carry case here uh, for these ones. Pretty tough, rugged type case. Got a carry handle here and a zip. And uh, when you open these up, this is what you're gonna get inside. Got a little strap here to hold the headphones in. And you've got a bag with all your cables and user manual. Let's just get these out here. So basically you're gonna get your charging cable um, USB charging cable here, audio uh, lead, which is your 3.5 mil audio jack on the end of these, two of those there, uh, connectivity on the end. Little warranty card, and you've got your actual user manual here, mini user manual. You've got your little jack here, which is a two 3.5 mil uh, pronged jack here with a 3.5 mil port there where you can plug into that as well. And there are obviously gold plated ends. And these are the actual headphones themselves. So let's get them out here and we can take a look. So these are the headphones and you can see you've got this uh, shiny sort of piano black shiny finish on the outer side here. And also we have our controllers on the bottom. We've got A and C here, which is gonna have a blue LED light. I'll turn them on in a second for you. You've got your 3.5 mil audio port there. And that's all you've got on this cup. But on this side here, we've got our volume buttons here, plus and minus. You've got your charging port here probably your activity here, your microphone, and your power button here to turn them on. You got their logo on each side here. And these do rotate, so they will rotate this way on both sides, so they can sit over your neck, uh, around your neck uh, and head. Uh, they will extend on both sides, good generous uh, extension there, so if you've got quite a a large head it will extend for quite a way so you miss this is all metal here inside here you've got a couple of screws holding the uh, bracket on which is plastic on the inside here but metal along the outside and uh, sometimes you may find that these do get a bit stiff on the uh, cheaper type of headphones they do get a bit stiff but they're okay once you've used them a few times uh, also here you do have an area where you can fold. Now a lot of these uh, cheaper headphones uh, don't have this uh, feature but these ones do come with the foldable uh, part here which allows you to put this into uh, a smaller compartment so it doesn't take up so much room uh, if you don't want to put them around your neck that is you can fold them up here. Um, another thing I want to check out here is the cups themselves now obviously these round here, it's probably some sort of synthetic leather. I wouldn't have thought this is real leather, uh, but it could be, I need to check their website. But it does look like synthetic leather to me. It does feel very soft. And uh, I will be testing these over the next few hours to see how they feel. And I'll give you my verdict at the end of the video for this. Uh, got some foam inside here of the speaker um, to protect that. And also we'll, I'll let you know whether they do cause um, sweating around the ears and stuff like that for long play. But they do feel and look very comfortable. So what I'm going to do is power these on and uh, I'll give you my personal opinion of them. So connecting these is pretty easy. Just go into your Bluetooth here. 
which is Bluetooth 4.0 and you can search for it on your Bluetooth device uh, in your phone settings here and I'm just going to pair these up so they'll be paired. Once they're paired they will tell you they're paired and talk to you uh, through the speakers and say you are connected. I've got A and C connected here, you can see the blue LEDs, probably won't see them under the studio lights but basically you've got little blue LEDs on here and it tells you that you are connected. Now again these have got around about a 2.4 hour charge time here, 33 uh, foot range uh, with the Bluetooth. Um, so that's what you're looking at there. Also the impedance is 32 ohms and the SPL is 94 decibels, 20 hertz frequency on these headphones as well. So 30 hour battery life is pretty decent, 500 milliamp hour battery is inserted in here which is a lithium battery which was what you're going to charge. So let's have a listen to the sound and see what the quality is like. So listening to these with active noise cancelling and the active noise cancelling turned off, I preferred it with the active noise cancelling on. There's good bass uh, with all different types of genre, not too much bass where it overdoes uh, the music, the sound of the music. Good clear crisp sound and also uh, good mid-tones and stuff like that. So you get really good trebles as well in there. So I do like the overall uh, sound quality of these headphones and I did play music on these headphones for about two hours. So all in all, they're a pretty decent pair of headphones. Sound quality is pretty good. Uh, good bass, nice clarity there. Um, you're looking at that price, $80. Um, mainly plastic, plastic and sort of construction here, uh, as you'd expect at that sort of price point. Very comfortable to wear. I will be wearing them over the next um, few, few hours to let you know how they feel and I'll be listening to more music for a long longer period of time so I can give you a general idea of what the overall feel and sound quality is for these headphones okay okay to sum up about these headphones headphone reviews are always suggestive to the person that's listening to the sound and remember that when you're listening to headphones on your own head basically what you hear is not what someone else is going to hear because everyone's got different ears and different sound quality through their eardrums so that is one thing with headphone reviews i will say though that uh, these headphones were pretty comfortable i didn't suffer with hot ear or sweaty ear or anything like that for long periods of use so i had them on for a couple of hours and listened to all different types of genre of music and uh, i really enjoyed the sound quality of these and uh, the battery life is excellent so if you are looking for something with long battery life that is a plus point for me $80 again is going to be uh, depending on how much you want to spend but what you're getting for that $80 is quite a lot you are getting really good superior sound quality you're getting a foldable pair of headphones you're getting a carry case free headphone uh, airplane adapter you're also getting active noise cancelling and stuff like that so you are getting quite a lot of uh, quality for uh, that sort of price now obviously the price here which you see crossed out 189.99 i would say that that's in crazy price you're talking very high level uh, headphones at that price point and the build quality would have to be stepped up if they want to charge that amount of money for these headphones and that's just my personal opinion again at 80 dollars you are at sort of at the market of jbl level um skull candy Sennheiser and uh, some other Sennheiser ones on Amazon so just bear that in mind when you're going to purchase a pair of headphones you may want to listen to the sound yourself to get a real idea of what the sound quality is like with your ears but personally I think they're not too bad uh, of a headphone I'll leave the link in the video description if you are interested in purchasing these yourself okay anyway that's about it for this video my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed the review I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos Thank you.